Hi traders, I welcome you to the third part of the day trader developing video series. And I just want to let you know that I put up the live trackable link to the algorithm to MQF5 and later this week I am going to put it on my FX book as well so you can follow the journey of this whole development process of this uh, algorithm and of course it doesn't mean that uh, for the first week it is going to be uh, profitable right away because this is not that easy but it is going to be a very interesting journey of uh, how to develop a profitable day trading strategy. Now, as you can see, it is the third part and I have some changes. And before I get into all the changes, I want to tell you that in this video, it's a very special video, I would like to run a full 20 year test. Um, yeah, up to date. And a 20 year test with a day trader without martingale, greed, any kind of bullshit like scam strategy, it is a huge task. It is something that not many day traders can do, especially on gold, because gold is a really, really tough uh, instrument. And now I want to start the test and in the process, because it is going to take a while until the test is done, I'm going to tell you all the changes to the strategy and why I made those changes and how it is going to make this strategy better so you can all learn from it. Because I made some huge changes. So I started, of course, the test with every tick data now because I realized that so far in the first two video because I wanted to show you the process for um, the time when you just start a development. I only ran it with open prices only and now I want to show you a test with every tick data um, and a pretty high quality data as well, not just some random um, like uh, 50% data because that is not what we are looking for. What we are looking for is a great tick data that is very high quality, that is realistic, that has swap calculated and this kind of stuff. So as you can see, it's going to take a while. Let's just see the new inputs because in this video, it is really a moment that is a key point in the development process. I was thinking about this a lot. How, how can I make this strategy like better and with more trades because I got a ton of uh, emails, telegrams from you guys and you told me, man, it only, you know, is doing a few trades, how it is a day trader. And I think you were right. I was thinking about it and I realized we need more trades. Um, so this is one of the reasons why I changed the uh, strategy a little bit. So first of all, we have, of course, fixed lot size. Second of all, we have fixed stop loss and take profit separately for, for uh, buy and sell trades. It is not that different, but you know, you can adjust it separately and many times it is great and then here comes the new stuff we have a parameter called distance from trade in pips what does it mean I added a parameter that can open more trades because I realized it is only one instrument. It is not a diversification package EA than my, as my other EAs. It is only trading gold. So we need a couple more trades. You can 
also just use it as a one trade at a time algorithm that is going to work great as well but i wanted to experiment a little bit and the ea can open another trade when it is out of this particular distance so it is further away from the trade than 20 pips of course you can adjust this parameter it is in my opinion and as i was thinking about it what can i add to the strategy so it doesn't open too many trades uh, and it is a serious trader because i like those ones and this is one of these parameters that uh, makes it a serious trader let's see how our test is going pretty good uh, now we are um, te we tested the algorithm from 2004 to 2016 and so far with everything data keep, keep that in mind with high quality data it is looking great and with a good amount of trade so let's go back here um, the maximum trades is the next um, parameter the new parameter now it is 17 it already takes 17 trades it is just the maximum and why it doesn't take that many trades because i wanted to build an ea that is it's not taking many trades just because it can based on its um you know rules but it only takes another trade when of course this parameter has been fulfilled and when all this strategy uh, elements are fulfilled again so not just randomly opening trades at a certain pip distance but when the strategy fulfilled all the um, rules and it is crazy uh, difficult and i am going to tell you why because we have a completely new strategy now it is a completely normal process of developing an ea because you start with a strategy you play around with it you see its weaknesses you see its strengths and you adjust it and you adjust it again and i was working on it a lot because i realized i want to make something great and for that it is not enough to use indicators and um, i actually realized that mostly we are going to use price action patterns and there is another reason for that and the other reason is because i tested the previous strategy if it everything data and the results were not that similar to everything data and open prices only and i need a strategy that is similar in open prices only and everything data many of you wrote me man how can you test your eas your dca so fast how can you optimize it and forward test it so fast and i realized most traders don't create strategies that are easy to test it is fast to test but i need that so i changed the strategy a little bit and um, also i added a trading stop now the trading stop is based on first the trading stop start means a percentage so it is not just based on like at a certain pip it starts no it is based on percentage and it is based on the percentage of the take profit so when the trade is at let's say at 60 percent of the take profit uh, our trading stop is activated it is this easy but it is a great trick if you want to add it to your ea feel free to use this trick and then the strategy that i added is based on i'm telling you the buy strategy first of all we have three bull candles then we have three bear engulfing patterns and then we have two bear candles now for the third strategy we have three bear candles we have three bull engulfing pattern and we have two bull candles and this strategy is it turned out to be a great one and 
when I started to adjust the different candles and started to draw some patterns out of those candles with the engulfing uh, pattern theory, it turned out to be a great uh, pattern combination for this strategy. In the next video, I am going to explain this particular pattern-based strategy for you in more detail. Also, if you want to buy this um, strategy, this EA, with all the new set files and stuff, you can find it in the QL5 market with the signal as well. Uh, and now the test is done, so let's see. Okay, um, it is looking pretty good. Of course, now I tested it with a really a low lot size. This strategy could be tested with one lot, and with one lot, it the result would be like uh, one hundred and thirty thousand dollars, not just uh, thirteen thousand dollars. But you know, it is just a test for this. Uh, a video um, and we need the ratios and correlations not the exact numbers but look at this beauty it is very stable what I what I like about this that it is 20 year and of course there are bumps here and there but it is overall very very stable and this is what we need even a day trader I don't want a day trader that is tested for less than like 10, 20 years because if a day trader passed 20 years, it means it actually passed like the market crashes and stuff. Uh, we have only like 14% drawdown. Mm, the win rate is around 70%. I think we could increase that and we will in the next videos. Um, the total number of trades are at the moment 1,100. We could also like triple that, and it is going to be the the goal, my goal, to triple the number of trades and to increase the win rate. Um, like the sharp ratio is three. That is great for the day trader. Um, Overall, it is a it's a good strategy, and the average holding time was like fifteen hours. That could be like decreased a little bit, so it only holds trades for a couple hours. But it is a great start for a day trader, and it is a great first result. Now, in the next videos, uh, I hope uh, you enjoyed this one so far. But in the next videos, of course, I'm going to explain this whole part for you and how I uh, was thinking about the patterns when I created this particular strategy for the day trader. Um, also, I'm going to explain the engulfing pattern uh, to you. And now I just want to show you the live signal that I put up to um, MQL5 because in my opinion it is just interesting it is now just a week up of course this series is not that uh, old and it made three percent with around 2.1 percent drawdown um, the absolute drawdown was zero because we started with 10 winning trades this is why the profit trades is more than 85 percent um Let's see some more data. Yeah, the recovery factor, the sharp ratio. Um, so if you want to check it out, um, do it. Why not? I tried it out on Euro USD as well, because why not? Um, here are the trades, but now I uh, want to only run it on the gold. But if you are interested in like more tests or more currency pairs, just let me know. Uh, and in the next uh, part, I am also going to do a Monte Carlo analysis and stress testing with at least 1000 uh, simulations 
and I'm going to show you all the scenarios, the best and the worst scenarios with this strategy. And um, if you have any questions about this whole strategy, just let me know uh, in the comments. And uh, in the next video, I am going to explain all the patterns to you. Um, and of course, you can download the demo version from uh, MQFR. You can play around with parameters and stuff. And um, yeah, see you in the next video. Ciao.